Hi everybody, Steve Borey here. I am the author of The American Casino Guide, and today I'm joined by Matt Borey. And I'm the editor of The American Casino Guide, and today we're going to tell you guys the truth on how to win on slot machines. That's right, the absolute truth. There's a lot of bad information out there on slot machines about how they work, and people say, oh, I can teach you how to win every time, or they have some slot system they want to sell you. We're not here to sell you anything. We are here just to give you the truth about how to win on slot machines. The truth is, if any of those people were actually making the money that they claim they are, they would not be telling anyone about it because they would be too busy in the casino making money. So those people are just all ridiculous. So really, when it comes down to it, there's a short answer and there's a long answer. Uh, we're going to go over both, but first we're going to start with the short answer. The short answer is simply that you just cannot win in the long run playing on a slot machine. A slot machine is just a computer that is designed to pay out less money than it takes in. So, you know, it, anything can happen in the short run. You can be playing and win a jackpot on your first spin and then leave, but chances are in the long run that's not going to happen every time. You are not going to win money. So in this short answer, this is for the situation for most people. Now, now because you can't win in the long run, I mean, like Matt said, anything can happen in the short run, you can win. But the longer you play, the more likely you are to lose. But when you, when you play a slot machine, you have to look at it as entertainment. I mean, if you, if you were to go to a sporting event or you went to a concert or you went to a play or something, you would have to pay to go see that. So, so you know, if, if you have to look at your uh, visit to the casino as entertainment and you're paying for your entertainment. Now the only difference is that if you go to a, a sporting event and spend $300 or a concert and spend $300, you're not going to get anything back for it. But if you go to a casino, they, they'll send you benefits back in the mail. They'll rebate a certain percentage of your losses or your expected losses or theoretical losses. And also they'll, they'll give you things like uh, free, free shows or free rooms or, or free food. So you'll get benefits back. But so, that is only if you sign up for the Players Club and use your Players Club card when you're playing, which you 100% have to do. If you're going to be playing a negative expectation game like slot machines where you're expected to lose money, you want to sign up for the Players Club so that you can get all of the perks that he was just talking about and use them. Because if you're not playing with a Players Club, club card and you don't have an account, there's no way for them to know how much you were playing, so you're not going to get anything back. Okay, so the short answer is... You really can't win on slot machines. The, the best you can hope for is to get some good benefits back. You know, consider it your entertainment dollar, uh, money that that you would spend. You want you go to a movie or a show or whatever, and, and it's your entertainment dollar, and, and they'll give you back some benefits. So you want to find a club that gives you uh, or a casino that that gives you good benefits, and and be content with that. Now that's a short answer, and that applies to most people. Now this is the long answer. And, the, and this can get a little complicated, but please follow along, and you will learn how to, how to win money on slot machines. The long answer is? The long answer is that it can be done, and the reason we say that it does not apply to most people is because it requires a good bit of time and effort, and nobody wants to put in time and effort to do anything. Most people, they want to go in, pull the handle, win a million dollars, and leave the casino, but it's not that easy. If it were that easy, we would not be making this video. We would be in the casino making millions. Exactly. So, the long answer is, that. well, let, let's go to the, the, there's multiple parts to this long answer. The, the first part is, you can, so, so, we were talking about the Players Club. So, you can make money playing a slot machine if the benefits that the casino give you are more than your expected losses. Now, it's, it's kind of rare for this to happen with slot machines. Uh, it's more likely to happen if you play video poker, but the casino, what, what a casino does is they know how much money you put through the machine, and, and they, they have a, a formula to calculate your expected loss in that machine. And then based on that formula, they will rebate to you, like, like we said before, certain benefits. They'll give you cash back or you know, rooms or, or shows or food or whatever. But if you... Perhaps find, find a machine where the, the, the calculations are set incorrectly. They may send you more benefits than, than your expected losses. It's rare to happen, but it could happen. And the way, the way that you would do this is you would go into a uh, casino and you'd sit down at a slot machine and you would just have to track how much money you put through on a machine. Like say you sit down at a dollar slot machine betting $5 a spin. If you spin it 100 times, that means you've put through $500. 
So then you would just you'd leave, and then you you got to wait like it takes it's a long drawn out process. So you'd have to wait a month or two for them to send out the marketing mail, and then once you get the marketing mail, look and see what they gave you. You know, if you put through five hundred dollars and they're giving you fifty bucks back, I mean that's a pretty good deal because in the long run, on the dollar slot machine, it's got about a five to an eight percent house edge. So you put through. Five hundred dollars. You're supposed to lose between twenty-five and forty dollars. And if they're sending you fifty dollars in free play, then that is one of those mistakes. That in, I mean, in the long run, you you should make ten dollars. Or you know, you could put through. And if they don't send you a lot, I mean, you could next time you go, you could put through a thousand dollars, and then wait again and see uh, what they send you. So you'd have to just. It's you, it takes a lot of trial and error. Okay, but that is one way you could make money on slot machines if the benefits they give you are greater than your expected losses. Okay, so number two, now this is uh, um, banking slot machines. You can make money on banking slot machines. Now people are going to say, well, what are banking slot machines? Well, this started back, and, and, and here's a book um, by Charles Lund. This book was written in 1999. It's called Robbing the One-Armed Bandits, Finding and Exploiting Advantageous Slot Machines. Now, don't go out looking for this book because it's out of print and, and these machines are no longer available. But this was the first book that really explored this area. Because as we said, normally a slot machine uh, has the advantage over you. But what happens with a, a banking slot machine and the first one, the first kind of machine to, to have this was a WMS, I think it was called Williams back then, now it's WMS Gaming. Um, it is, there was a machine called Piggy Banking. And with that machine, there was a little, uh, these little animatronic uh, uh, pigs on there, and there would be a bank, and as you played it, if you didn't win anything, uh, it, it, or if a certain symbol, I, I forget exactly how, how it worked, but, but it would build up uh, credits in the machine. So it turned out that once these credits reached a certain level, the machine was advantageous. So if you were walking through a casino, and what, uh, what Charles Lund did in this book was he went through all different kinds of banking machines, uh, and, and again, th this was the first one. So he said on $1, $2, and $5 machines with 18 or more credits in the piggy bank, and on nickel and quarter machines with 21 or more credits in the piggy bank, play one credit per spin, and then you would play it. And once a little symbol came up on one of the three reels called Break the Bank, it would give you all the money that was in the, uh, the bank at that point. So like he says, if you happen to be walking through the casino and you saw a machine that was in an advantageous condition and you only played those machines when, when, when it was in that, uh, the threshold in the bank was, a, was above that amount, you would mathematically have an advantage over the casino and you could make money. Now... The problem with those machines is that once people figured them out, they, uh, they like to call them vultures end up showing up at the casinos, and they would sort of hover around or sit on a machine next to it and sort of keep track of who was playing these machines. Yeah. Well, well, actually, what they would do, they would try and, originally, what they should have done was they would, if a machine was empty, they should go over, and it was advantageous, they, should, they would go over and play it, but they got a little too aggressive. Yeah, so they got aggressive, and then... What they would do is, if they saw somebody playing it, and it got, they saw that it got to an advantageous state, what they would do is they'd sit down next to them, start smoking a cigarette, blowing smoke in their face. You know, they, they, they were getting real obnoxious about it. And then the uh, casinos, people started complaining to the casinos that all these people were being mean to them. And then the casinos figured it out that the, it was because of those machines. So they ended up pulling those machines. So... The banking slot machines still exist today, but they're in different forms. They're not quite as as blatant as they used to be. Uh, some of them are, there's Plants vs. Zombies 3D, where it has a little uh, pink bar that runs across the top, and it's the brains meter, I think it is. So as you're playing, uh, anytime a brains symbol appears on the machine, it'll add a little chunk to the meter, and then once the meter fills up, you go into a bonus round. And... Uh, as you keep playing, but if you if you play and you don't get that that symbol, it it sort of goes down. But the higher up it is, the easier it is to get to that bonus round. So I mean, if you're there's two machines and one of them has the meter completely empty and the other one has the meter almost completely full, you're going to want to play that one because it's much easier to get to the bonus round. There's another one called New Year Festival, which is one that we play in a, in a casino near us. Yeah, and it has 
It has a string of firecrackers in the, on the top. There's two screens, like the bottom screen where you play the game and the top screen where it shows all the progressives. And there's a string of uh, firecrackers. And then on the uh, right above the reels, it has a number. It says how many uh, strings of firecrackers are left. It can be anywhere from 15 to 1. And somewhere randomly between in those 15 strings of firecrackers, when you pop one of the firecrackers, it'll send you into the bonus round and you can win uh, one of, you're guaranteed to win one of the progressives. And what it is, is as you're playing, a firecracker will appear on any of the three reels and it'll randomly pop a certain number of uh, firecrackers. And when it gets to the top of that string, it starts at 15. So when you get to the top of one string, then it goes to 14 and another string appears. So you just have to look for, see that number has to be pretty low. It generally has to be, if you can find one that's lower than six or seven, then you can pretty much always win uh, money. You'll hit one of the progressives before you uh, use the amount of money that you will hit on the progressive. So it's, it's uh, games like that. You just gotta, you gotta be careful and just uh, keep your eye out for uh, weird symbols. Generally, if they have any kind of symbol that you have to keep getting over and over again, like banking it, to get to the bonus round, then that's what you want to look for. And just keep in mind that uh, slot manufacturers are putting out different kinds of machines all the time, and, and, and a few of them, uh, not a huge amount, but a few of them will have this feature in there, and it's something you want to be aware of when you go to the casino because it could present an advantageous opportunity for you. And if you do find these and you only play them when they're in an advantageous state, you can make money playing slot machines. So the last thing we want to go over are uh, must-hit-by slot machines. They're relatively uh, a new fad. That They're getting much more popular than they used to be. And what it is is it'll have generally a mini jackpot and a mega jackpot, and it'll have a range where it'll start at, like the mini ones generally start at 20 or 25, and they hit by 50, and the bigger ones will generally start at like 250 and hit by 500 or start at 350 and hit by 500, something like that. And what it is, is it's guaranteed to hit before it gets to that top amount. And the way they work is uh, somebody uh, is playing the machine, they hit, they hit the random jackpot, and when it resets back, so say that uh, it must hit by 50, and it starts at 20. As soon as it restarts down to $20, the machine will randomly pick a set number value between $20 and $50, and once the uh, jackpot builds to that amount, it automatically rewards it to the player. Now, it can be anywhere from $20.01 all the way up to $49.99. It's completely random, but you just have to know that the higher the jackpot has built up, it hasn't hit yet, so you, it, you just know that it's a smaller amount that it has to hit by at the top end, and certain machines, there's a way to calculate it to figure out uh, when is the advantageous time to play those. But, but as an example, if you were walking through a casino and you saw a machine that said it must hit by $50 and it was at the $48, it's worth your while to sit down at that machine and play that machine. Because uh, in the long run, you will win more on the machine than you will lose. But they're, they're, like Matt said, there's a way to calculate it. But one thing you can do if you want to calculate uh, that these are progressive machines where a certain amount of the money that goes through the machine uh, is used to build up that jackpot. So an example, if, if you wanted to try and calculate the, uh, the amount that's put through the progressive meter for each uh, dollar you put through, Matt? So, yeah, so like say you, you walk up to the machine, you, you say, say it's close, it's like $45, and it's, it's at $45, it's going to hit by $50. You can sit down at the machine and sort of figure out uh, how much money you have to put through. So if you say you put through one, it's a, a penny machine, and if the max bet is a dollar, if you can bet a dollar, bet one dollar. It's got to be a flat amount. Either bet one dollar, bet two dollars, and then see how much the progressive meter goes up. So if you sit down, it's at forty-five dollars and zero cents. You bet one dollar, and it goes up to forty-five dollars and one cent then that means it has a 1% uh, buildup. So you would know that for every $1 you put through, it's going to go up $0.01. Cent. For every $10 you put through, it's going to go up $0.10. Cents. For every $100 you put through, it's going to go up a dollar. So, you know, a, a penny slot machine generally has like a 10% edge. So for every $100 you put through, you're supposed to lose $10. 
So if it's at $45 and you put through 100 bucks and it goes up to $46, that means the most you're going to have to put through is $500 and your edge on that machine that you're going to lose is going to be somewhere around $50. So that would be about a break even point. So if you walked up to the machine and it was at like $46, $48, that's where it gets into the advantageous um, area where it's in your favor because if it's at $48, the most you have to put through to win that jackpot is going to be $200 if it's at a 1%. So, you know, if you put through $200, your uh, expected loss is 20 bucks, and if you're going to win 50 somewhere between 48 and $50, you know, that's, that's, you're going to make money in the long run. Okay, that's part number three on how to win on slot machines. We went over uh, if a casino makes a mistake and pays you more than the expected loss uh, by finding banking slot machines and also uh, playing uh, must hit by slots. The last two, of course, playing them when they're in advantageous condition. Now, if you can do any of those three things, you can make money in the long run on slot machines. Uh, they're, they're usually they're not easy to do. Uh, it requires some work on your part to, to figure this all out. But, you know, again, and this is the truth, uh, there, there is no easy way. If you, know, the, the, so if you see these uh, uh, videos out there about, oh, we'll tell you how to make a million dollars in stock machines real easy, there is no easy way. So these are the best three ways to make money on slot machines in the long run. All right, uh, so make sure you subscribe to our channel because we're going to be making videos like this for a lot of other casino games coming up soon like video poker, blackjack, and craps, and a few others. Uh, so make sure you keep an eye out for those, and good luck and hit lots of jackpots. Yes, thanks very much for watching, and best wishes for good luck in the casino.